eyes on her way here. So she opened that door. Them dogs gonna go crazy. You said them dumps be crazy. I said Kai's on her way here. So when she opens up, opens the door upstairs, the dogs are gonna go crazy. Got you. Yeah, like when mine goes, I just hit the mute and say fuck it. Um, plus I got us on the double record anyway this time. So now, like I can cut anything out from either one of us, and we can call it a day. Um, nah, man, because um, the way it was explained to me, the ADHD shit, it, and and it made sense because over the years, I would say shit like, oh, I know people who could play the game for hours, and I can only play the game for maybe twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. And I always kind of put it there, like, oh, that, that I got ADHD because of that, you know, like, or like liking to read when I was younger. I, I never liked to read, never now, like, I, I hated it. And I said, oh, that's because I got ADHD. I just can't concentrate. But when somebody broke it down and it started to make sense to me, I was like, they, they talked about dopamine. And I was like, okay. And then they said, like, ADHD, and I might be completely wrong about this. As far as like the way I'm explaining it, ADHD is like, I guess, lack of dopamine. Like mm-hmm. you get you get less dopamine than, than other people. Right. Yeah. So like when you go to get that dopamine, it's like, um, damn, now I fucked it all up. I'm telling you, like it, the way they explained it, it made it make sense. It's like because you don't have that dopamine, when you do get that hit of dopamine, it's like you you fixate on it. But it doesn't hold you for long. It's weird. It's from it's from lack of dopamine, which will keep you interested, which will keep you. It's like a reward system for your brain. Dopamine. It's a reward system. So if you have less dopamine than everybody else or you you your dopamine receptors are less than everybody else or something like that. Little shit doesn't hold your attention for long because you're not getting the reward. Reading doesn't reading doesn't give you the reward. Like you want. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about everybody. Like me. Yeah. Anybody. Like that's why I might watch the same shows for 20 years. Which makes sense. Right. And I never knew why I did it. I just thought, oh, I just like them shows. But no, they gave me them dopamine hits back in the day. So I just keep wanting to get them. You understand? I just keep wanting them and I know, <laughs> and I know where to get them from. Procrastination. Biggest, biggest fucking tell in the world, procrastination. You know when I work best, and I noticed that. I tell people this, and 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 you know, it never dawned on me until now. I said I work best when I'm when my back is up against the wall. That's when I work best. I say I'll, I'll. But that's why I waited till the last minute to do projects and shit like that. All that stuff that I talk about in the past, now it makes sense because that's where I get them dopamine hits at. Doing it regular. Who wants to turn an assignment in on time? Who wants to be done early? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Nope. The last year, I spent five years in high school. All right, they going. They going. If if we ever do, if our podcast ever goes crazy, they gonna kill me for that. But I spent five years in high school. My fifth year, I got um, honor roll. Why didn't I get honor roll the other four years? You let me know. The work didn't change. The work never changed. Yeah, it's all the same work. <clears throat> but somehow, from me being so either embarrassed or motivated it's it's stuck with me the whole year and like i got straight a's straight a's never got straight a's in my life fifth year in high school when my back was to the wall like basically when i was so embarrassed that you know why would i let this you know what i'm saying like whatever gave me that dopamine hit that's what i went with so it, it just didn't it didn't hit my brain until now like yo i think that's the key to this that's the key to this, I think, personally. I mean, I could kind of agree with that. I mean, in the sense of what I have to go through on a normal basis and uh, me, when it comes to procrastination, I noticed that there's things that I would rather do, you know, more than not. Right. So um, if it's something that that I want to do, I'm going to make sure that it gets done the way I want it to get done. If it's something that I I don't particularly care if it gets done or not, then I'm obviously going to procrastinate. But even if it's something that that I want done, like like let's just use my health for example, mm-hmm. I I want to work out. I want to I'm I'm trying to find a way for me to try to you know start losing weight and and you know build muscle and stuff like that. But I'm also in pain on a regular basis from 
back pain or knee pain or just regular shit from, I guess, getting old and me wearing my body out from doing all the shit when I was younger. And it's hard for me to find a median where I'm like, all right, I can do this and not and not not feel like I'm I'm overexerting myself and putting myself in harm's way or or going through this pain that makes me want to be like, nah, I don't feel like going through this. It's it's the shit like that that makes me be like, I'm not going to do it that way. So now the now me trying to find a different path is slow because. I know that I'd rather do it the way where I'm exercising, but I don't have not necessarily the want or not even necessarily the motivation, but it's just a gear in me that's not turning the way it's supposed to turn to make me get it to that point. Now, it doesn't happen with every single thing that I'm interested in. Like you said, uh, I can play it. I can play an Xbox for a couple hours nonstop. You know what I mean? If I'm, if I'm, but it's something that I'm enjoying. Like you said, it's giving me a, a dopamine where I, I gotta have more. I gotta have more. Mm-hmm. And and it's opposite when it comes to TV shows and movies for mm-hmm. me than it is for you because I get that dopamine when I'm watching something new, something new. and not necessarily something old, with exceptions. Right. Uh, stuff that actually, um had some type of hold on me when I was younger, you know, like the Sandlot or, you know I mean? Shit like that. I can watch all the way up into this day. We were talking about Robin Williams. I could watch Hook all the way up into this day. It's, it's little right. shit that, that played a part in my childhood that I could watch all the way up until this day. But when it comes to new TV shows, new new movies and stuff like that i want to i i have to watch something that i've never seen before to get that dopamine feeling and like new girl that was just shit i watched i watched it one time my wife loves it you know what i mean she she's probably watched it a few times season a few times i can't i can't watch a whole the whole <laughs> the holes all the seasons over again because i already know if i know the joke it's not as funny to me now, she. now, huh? I said she. Go ahead, though. Just say <laughs> now. There's certain parts. Now, someone now, get me an ironing board. Yeah, I'm now right. he's funny, but the thing, but what, but instead of me just going back and watching that same shit, I'll find the person who I think is funny, and I'll I'll look for other work that they've done, mm-hmm. so they can tell me a different joke. Or do something else silly, you know what I'm saying? Or bring something else to give me that new dopamine feeling. Okay. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, but I do understand where you're coming from because, like I said, there's I feel like if all if if all our bodies was compared to clocks, and I use that because we're all sitting on time, you know what I mean? And time is passing, and 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 that's pretty much how we base our lives off of time and what we do with that time. If our bodies were made up as clocks. There's something wrong with some of the gears that's in me that that make me procrastinate more than what I should. You know what I mean? I, I and and we'll get to our topic. Um, but just in general, I you know I ain't got nobody to talk about it with other than my wife, and she like, yeah, nigga, I knew you had, I told you you got ADHD, but I'm like, nah, but I think it's to my detriment. Like to me, cleaning, it's weird. And I know people will be like, yeah, nobody like to clean. Nah, when I'm by myself and I can turn my music on and start, like when I hit a certain gear, I love it. Like I get into a whole bag, but I wait until like, especially when I was a kid. Yo, no, I can't I, I, deal with it no more. No, I wait till like my mom about to come home. She's 20 minutes from home. I I'm sat max out. <laughs> bro, I sat on my ass all day. <clears throat> Especially on the summertime, sat on my ass literally all day, did nothing, nothing all day. When she about to come home, now I'm getting everything together. Now, back in the day when uh when I was single, my house stayed clean. You know why? It was always the threat of a bitch coming over, a girl coming over. It's that dopamine. You you would actually clean it in hopes that all right, I'm gonna get her over here this night. I'm gonna call her, see what's going on. It's like. I don't like to say dopamine over and over and over, but I like to say like that reward, that internal reward that you give yourself that you don't, might not necessarily know what it is, but yeah. it's just like, it's the way your brain, chemically, it's the way your brain works. So it, you're getting a reward for things. If I sit and meditate, which I've done before, I don't do it for more than three months 
because after a while, it's not new anymore and cool. You're not getting that reward no more. You just like, yep. you like, all right, I did it. And it didn't, yo, my life didn't get instantly better. <laughs> my life didn't get instantly better. What else is next? Yeah. Um, I think it's the key to what's been going on in my brain and why at least I'm not, I just think that it's to my detriment and it, and it basically, it had me create these habits that just aren't, what do you call it? They they don't help me. So I'm going to try. Just, some, it's hindering habits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like really bad ones. Like it's the same I, reason why, I, I, you know, talking about weights. Like lifting weights and shit like that. Same thing. Same, same shit. shit. I mean, yeah. even when it comes to the weed, the weed, I mean, the weed helps me procrastinate a little more because not necessarily saying that I'm not an active smoker because I, I'll smoke and do things simultaneously. But it's the fact that I want to smoke, period, in in itself. So let's we'll take an, let's just use me having to go somewhere for an example. If I'm going somewhere with my wife, she's driving her car. I don't smoke in her car. Mm-hmm. I got to smoke before we go. You know what I mean? So I allot myself a certain amount of time to know, all right, boom, I know it takes you forever to get dressed. I'm going to try and go down there and smoke, but it doesn't always happen that way. Or I got to let her know like, all right, well, I got to smoke before I go, which will take me somewhere like 45 minutes. You know what I mean? To an hour chilling, smoking, whatever the case may be. Right. But it's, it's, it's time that could be used doing something else or, or, you know, and I smoke a lot. So you figure how many times in the day I smoke, how much time do I take off to do this? I mean, a lot of times I'll smoke and do things simultaneously. Like I said, smoke on my way to work or, you know, smoke while I'm working at home, cleaning stuff or in the basement or wherever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But there's times where if we have to do something or if we want to go out to eat, I, you know, I'm going to smoke real quick before we go. And and then she has to wait on me. You know, it's not it's not necessarily me having a problem with that aspect. It's other people having a pro- having a problem of me having to do that beforehand. I mean, a lot of my friends, they smoke. So it's just like if I'm saying that, they're just like, you know, it. you know, what I mean, but when it comes to people who don't live the lifestyle that I live, it's like they have to take a time out so mm-hmm. I can um, adhere to my habits. Sure. So I mean, it's it's it all plays a part in in how I guess we we let our minds work and and how we how we choose to handle situations, whether it becomes for procrast- procrastination or if we're so into it that you just you just turn it on and you just do it. And like I like we were saying in a previous episode. Um, our other co-host who isn't here at the moment, he's able to, t- Kev's able to turn that shit on. If he wants to do something, there's no procrastination with him. He jumps directly into it. He dives in head first. Very admirable. Makes sense. <clears throat> it makes sense. He not retarded like, like me. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, this, like yeah. and I was always like, nah, man, that ain't how it is. Like, cause I was like, you know, Kev, and I'm like this, take everything you feel like you've been dealing with for the past couple of years, at least me, I'm not talking about you, but, and then plug that in. And if it, it checks a lot of boxes yeah, to, for me, cause yeah, I'm gonna look at that fucking yard. Like Kev got all them trees. I'm gonna look at that motherfucking yard. Like, damn, one day I'm gonna cut all these motherfuckers down. And, and, then, and, then, and while you saying that, I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in my yard looking at shit like that and be like, damn, one day I'm gonna pay somebody to cut. These right. Yeah. Trees. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, well, I prefer that as well. I definitely you know I mean? prefer that. She, but but that's the thing. But Kev would get right out there, like, all right, after work, I'm gonna go home and fucking do it. I'm like, you're crazy. But um, I think me and you need a person that's like that motivative, that voice, that person that's actually there, someone who's actually there to be like, yo, bro, what you doing? We got to get this done. Come on, let's just do this now. Because <clears throat> me and my wife are like that with each other. It doesn't necessarily work all the time. Um, but we use each other as motivation to do things that we need to get done that we know that one of us will procrastinate on. For example, if we know we need to clean the house up, <laughs> I'll, I'll do, I have a little small funny story about that. And it goes back to what you said about your mom's coming home. You got 20 minutes to clean. You ain't did shit all day. You waited to them 20 minutes to try to max out. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So we had someone coming over to fix the couch. We knew this for 
at least a few days. I'm like, yo, we, we we should clean up before she gets here. I mean, we don't have to do no crazy major cleaning, but, you know, we got these dogs here. They create messes just by being here. You know, dog hair, all types of stuff. Let's make sure we get things in order. Okay. You know, we ain't wait till an hour before that lady came. <laughs> before we started trying to clean the whole house. Yep. Everything. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. That's and, exactly and how it goes. Like, why? It's like, why? Why do why? <laughs> And we'll be, and it's not like, and we both sitting with each other. We both watching TV, or and she'll be like, "Okay, I gotta go to my mom's house for a little bit," and I'm like, "All right, good. I'll see you when you get back." Don't forget, we gotta do this like a reminder. And it's like, yo, why didn't why didn't we just wake up, knock this shit out the box? Then you could do whatever you want to do. I don't know. It's it's and it's not even just it's 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 those three words that you said at the begin beginning of that sentence. I. No, I'd rather have. I'd <laughs> right. rather have. No matter what it is at the end of that sentence, I'd rather do this than do what I know I'm supposed yes. to do. And I and I actually want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So That's, yeah, I mean, I've been I'm I'm listen, I'm, I know I'm, the person. I'm all fucked up and backwards now. I already you know, know the mean? person that we can get. I already know the name of the person. Or at least that I can get, that I can have me, you know, that I can have with me. At all times, making sure I get shit done. Okay. Are you going to say it or you want me to ask you to say it? Who is it? Adderall. That's not a person. <laughs> it's the person I need. It's the person I need. Adderall. And I'm going to go. Listen, I'm going to take the time. Like, I'm serious, though. Like, like for me, this I'm about to say we've been spending like fucking 20 minutes on this shit. But either way. Fuck it. This is something I need to talk about. Yeah. I'm going to spend, I'm going to go as soon as our health insurance kicks in, which I, I've had health insurance for fucking years. Years. And I could have did this a long time ago, but it just didn't click until recently. But I'm going to go talk to whoever I need to talk to, explain what's, explain like, hey, this is what I think is going on. These are the things that, you know what I'm saying? They want to give drugs to anybody anyway. But my point being is like, can we try this? And I want to see how it goes. My brother, he's already had this, I believe, diagnosis. And like uh, me and him do things similarly. Um, I tell people all the time. And, I, you know, I don't want, you know, I'll let him tell it um, because I don't want him to think that this is something that I feel like, you know, I'm disappointed in because he doesn't do it. I think he could do anything he puts his fucking mind to. Um, but my, my little brother could have played in the NFL. Period. Like, it's not me saying, like, no, he was... No, like he was that fucking good. He just couldn't get the other shit together in order to um in order to get to that point where he can because it, it you have to start early as far as like who knows you and 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 your stats and shit like that. He had the potential to make it to the NFL if at the very least to get his college education paid for. And once certain things started happening when he got grown, and then he and then he I guess he got the diagnosis or or whatever, and they gave him that which we call it straighten him right up. He said he just didn't like the way it made him feel, but it straightened him right up and it, but it fixed those problems that he was having all of a sudden that I said, I said a story all the time with my, um, I tell the story all the time. When I went to go take the SATs, I took them twice and I got an 800 both times. 800 is not good. They, I think they score it different now, but 800 is not good. Even for fucking 2000, the year 2000. And I tell people, I said, I'm not a good test taker. I didn't learn that until I was grown. What would happen when I would sit down and take that test is literally, and I'm, I, I wish I was joking. And I told my mom this shit, and she looked at me crazy. I said, as soon as I start sitting down, a playlist will start coming on in my head. Music will just play. Almost as if it was mocking me. My brain was mocking me. <laughs> I would sit down. Because the reason the reason why I think I got so low is because I was trying to answer everything, and I would have to that that reading and comprehension where you have to read that paragraph. I would have to read that paragraph five times. Not because I can't read; I can read great, because I don't understand what the fuck this shit is asking me while I'm reading it one time. But then once I read it, I'm like, oh, all right, 
You know what I'm saying? Because that playlist is going. DMX is fucking argh, barking in my motherfucking barking in my brain for some fucking reason. This shit get crazy, bro. But imagine if somebody could quiet all that shit down and just say, yo, do this. And then you listen. Like, all right. Imagine how much different life could be. <laughs> I think for me, it, it's it's the bigger task that I we would, call in this procrastination, I, by the way. But go ahead. I would I focus on the bigger tax better than the smaller tasks. So if we're talking about school, if we're using your example, and I got a test. One thing teachers and my parents always said is, yo, he always can pass the test. He just don't never do no homework. Because oh, smart. I was because I for what? Me and I'm like, yo, I don't feel like doing this. You know what I'm saying? I look over this shit and I'll be and, and as I'm doing it, there's all these things popping in my head because I know, like, all right, I don't care about this. I don't care about it. I don't care about this in particular. Yeah. I'm just I'm just being made to do this. Now I know when I'm in school, I gotta get this done. It's it, the procrastination sets, and I might not I might not do it until I get to school, you know what I mean? So I never did homework, by the way. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I never did homework neither. I mean, I used to have people do it for me sometimes, but for the most part, I mean, it's it, it's just... And then when it comes to reading stuff, it's never like if I'm reading something, it's always in my mind as I'm reading something, it comes to life in my brain. So... So if I'm reading something, it'll it'll I always picture what I'm reading simultaneously as I'm reading it, and then I have to read it over and over again so that so that picture can formulate for my answer or f- you know for me to comprehend it the way I need to because I don't I don't I'm not great at figuring out problems just by or understanding problems just by reading it. I'm a better you. I see an example of how it's done and I can imitate that example and make sure that I learn from that. I see and learn and instead of just being told and learn. Me and that you, makes sense. Me and you are talking. I'm telling you, the more you say, that's why when you be saying shit, I'm like, yo, and other people don't really get it. Like Kev don't get it. When, it, when you say, yo, I, I, I learn better by somebody showing me. I'll say that shit to Kev. Kev be like, you stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you because he don't get it. He got regular brain. He'll be like, nah, nah. You just got to do it like this. And I'll be like, nah. No. It work for me, man. Tell, it don't bro, work. my homie. That nigga, I be telling him all the time, bro. He be on the phone. Because <laughs> that, yeah, I told you, he told me how to work out correctly. So he be going to the phone. And I have to, I've been telling him this shit for years, too. Yo, so um, what you want to do today when we get to the gym? I mean, we can work on back. All right, cool. So I'm going to have you do 20 jumping jacks. Uh, you're going to hang in the air. You're going to freeze. Then you're going to jump down. Then we're going to do 40 over-unders. I'm making up words, by the way. We're going to do 40 over-unders. We're going you know, to jump off the roof. We're going to come back <laughs> under the basement. All, he will tell me all this shit. Jump off and the I, roof. And I will tell him at the end of what he's saying, bro, I don't know the fuck. Bro, stop. I'm not going to remember none of this shit. We'll do it when we get there. Yeah, but I'm just trying to tell you what you're in, dog. We working on back, chest, legs, shoulder. What the fuck are we working on? Back. All right, cool. We'll figure it out when we get there. You know why? Because you're going to tell me all this shit, and it's literally going into my brain, turning into dust, and then coming back out. I don't know what you're talking about. You could tell we could have we could have done this same workout. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because you're telling it to me. That's why I don't like to talk on the phone. All this shit starting to make sense. You know why I don't like to talk on the phone? And niggas love to talk to me on the phone? Bro, I'm not like, huh? What? So you know what I do when people talk call, call me on the phone? I don't give a fuck if it's my mom. I love my mom. And I can take any call from her. I turn the game on and start playing the game. Even yeah. if I lose on the game, I just have to be doing something else while you're talking to me. So I'll put you on speaker and literally be sitting there like, Oh, yeah, that's crazy they did that. How many people they kill? Damn, that's wild. Yo, you should have killed them too. <laughs> yeah, knife on you. I'm just, I'm listening, but I'm playing the game. I'm losing on the game, but I'm playing it so I can be doing something. I can't just sit there and, yeah, oh, wow, your father didn't love you? That's crazy. Let's talk about it. I can't do that shit, man. I'm just not good at it. 
So that's kind of <laughs> like I said, when somebody told me about the they explained it in the dopamine way, like in the, the brain reward center way, I, it started to kind of hit certain shit for me that made me say, OK, maybe there's a deeper problem that I never fixed. And I'm 38, about to be 39. And these are the effects of it. That's why I'm good at. Excuse me. That's why I was good at my job, but I hated it. People say, why'd you hate your job? Because you did the same thing every single day. And it felt like torture. Good job. Paid me really good. But going there and hitting the same problems every day, even though I was good at the job, same problems every day felt like torture because I was doing the same. Nothing different was happening. Sometimes I was just fucking driving my truck and saying, I wonder what would happen if I just drive this shit off this bridge. Not to, not to, not to uh, kill anybody or kill myself. I never want to do that. I just wanted to fucking feel something different. I just wanted to feel something different. Something. Something to make everything be different. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got to yeah. get up, if you got to get up and go and do some shit, that's cool too. But you can wind up ruining your whole fucking life by getting up and doing some different shit. So I just wanted something different to happen. That's all. Do did you ever fig, did you ever find that um we'll just say we'll just call it our ADHD. We'll just let it be like that. But do you find that <laughs> of course the of course the kids all come in at the same time? Of course, of course. It crazy, man. Nigga asked me, did I find an ADHD monster? I don't know. Do you, yeah. Do, do you find <laughs> your ADHD affecting your relationships with people negatively or or once yeah. used to affect them negatively to the point that you've lost relationships with people because of that? I never lost any relationships because of it, because um, I do feel like my emotional intelligence is a big part of who I am. So even though I don't like to talk on the phone and I tell people very, very openly that I don't like to talk on the phone for long periods of time. Um, I still do it, especially if you need me, I will be there for 15 hours. If you need me to be on the phone with you, I've had friends and relatives who went through a divorce who got, you know, really bad things happen to them and I'm there for them no matter what, even if it's, even if it's like, I ain't going to say torture because being there for people usually gets me going anyway, but my emotional intelligence will always like kind of hover over my intellectual brain. So now nah, I don't lose any relationships because of that. Most of the relationships I have, I had for 20 plus years. I can still call my, my homie Tuck, even though I don't know where the hell he been at. Uh, I can still call Tuck after 10 years. We seen each other, what, two years ago or a year ago? We could call each other after 10 years and have a full-on conversation and see each other and still be, you know what I mean? Like, still yeah. be good. So, yeah, no, nah, I, I can't say so. What about you? I don't think I've lost any relationships, but effective affecting my relationships with people negatively, I can say yes. I mean, I think it, I think it keeps me at a distance from people or keeps people at a distance from me, which isn't necessarily bad for me because I don't even like people. I mean, I like those that I choose to like, but people in general, I don't fucking like people. You know what I mean? They get on my nerves, the things that they do. Yeah. So, um, but the people that I do care about, I find I don't interact with them as much more more than likely because of the way that I like to do things or how I prevent myself from doing other things because of me being so used to doing the same things over and over. You know, we talking the same shit. I don't know if you know that we're literally saying that we do the same shit. We not fucking twins, but we do a lot of the same stuff, bro. We do a lot of the same shit. Just this is a couple differences, but yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that it's affected my relationships like that, but I do think that like, I, I get the whole, I get, I get the, um, yo man, yo man, why don't you call me? I get that. I don't like, call people, yo. And I, it, and, and I don't and, either, <laughs> but, but no, 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 no. I don't call the only person that calls my wife and, and that's if I need something or she needs something or, I, or something has to be explained to her. And I don't feel like texting, but 
I text people, but even then, like contacting people in general, I've I fall short on that. I mean, even in our group chats, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm at work or I'm oh, busy, yeah, trash. yeah, I see it and I keep a mental note of it, but I never get to reach back because I'm already in the middle of doing something that I'm already trained. Bro, I could be driving, okay? I don't know how many times this has happened. Wife, whoever, passenger seat. Yo, can we stop at Wawa? Yo, can we stop at the gas station? Yo, we need to stop at the liquor store. All right, cool. We can hit this one on the way here. And then I pass it. I don't stop. Yo, you forgot the liquor store. Ah, I have the epitome of a one track mind. My father used to say that. My grandmother used to say that. Boy, you got a one track mind. And I used to be like, what you talking about? It's mad tracks in my mind. I be thinking about mad stuff at one time. What you talking about? But when it comes to the decision making, when I focus in, it's tunnel vision for whatever I'm trying to do. If it's something I already intended on doing, and that's what I'm doing, boom. I'm, I'm if I'm driving to a destination, bro, I'll forget to get gas from my goddamn self. I'll just go and be there and be like, shit, I'm at to stop. You know what I mean? And get there and be like, nah, I gotta go back. There's been times I got to the podcast, I pull up to Kev, Kev spot. And as soon as I'm about to get out of the car, I'm like, oh, I forgot to get Dutchess. I got to drive back out of the West Saco. You got to. to. Go to the store. You have to. <laughs> yeah, got to. The to go after <laughs> Now you need that dopamine hit, bro. You need that fucking that reward. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And, and the reward. I've been trying to train myself to, 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 you know, be different and use different tactics to kind of change what how I think and 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 how I proceed to do things, especially when it comes to like my health. Like I've been trying to eat healthier and then and then I'll do good for like a week. And then it'll be like, oh yo, we having a party. I'll get to this party and they'd be like, Yeah, I got all your favorite foods here. Everybody <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then then it'll be like, oh it's okay. You can have a cheat day. You can have a cheat day every single Sunday. Tell you know me. what I mean? So you you're right about that. Let me just can I just comment on that because you raised a beautiful question. You raised a beautiful um issue. Niggas who tell you you can have a do not listen. Maybe in general they have your best interest. Them niggas do not care about you. I don't give a fuck of their family. They don't give a fuck about you trying to do better for yourself. Not because they don't love you, but because they don't understand the severity of what you're trying to do. So they'll tell you, "Oh man, you can have a cheat day." No, I can't. If you cared about me, you'd be like, nah, bro, not you. Go look. I made a special plate for you with the shit that you like that's healthy from right here. This is what I got for you. That's how much I care about you. Other than that, yo, I ordered these ribs, nigga. Y'all going to eat them. You can have a cheat day. <laughs> I need a person. <laughs> I need, I need per- yo, see, I'm never going to get to the point that I want to get to until we become rich and then I can be like, I have a person that makes the meals that I need to please. I am the epitome of figuring shit out as it as it as it happens. I wake up and I literally live every day for the moment when I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? There is no the only thing I plan the future for is weddings, kid of kids events, and oh, there's a party Saturday. I guess we'll stop by there, you know what I mean? But but that day to day basis, I'm living that day as it goes by. You know what I mean? Because that's our plan tomorrow. But tomorrow's not promised, so I always just li- live that day. So I'll be I'll wake up focused with what I'm gonna do for that day, and not what needs to be done for the next day. So I've been trying to change that aspect of my life as well. But I need a person to be like. Yo, here's your meal preps for the week. Boom. All right. I ain't got to do that. I know I can stick to this. If I got to eat something, it's already there for me to eat. If there's options for me, bro. I mean, I got to. I mean, that sound like. <laughs> it's like need to go to, yeah, if you, go to jail, <laughs> if you go to jail. All that shit is just playing for you, yo, no, bro. But you don't, like, you don't necessarily this. lose weight in jail. You know what I mean? Like you could still. There's options. Well, you you can commissary. It's just more expensive. You know what I mean? Snicker bar like five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 still options in jail. You could still be fat in jail. 
you I know, know what I mean? It's I just it's just it. less to do. So I guess she's just more motivated to want to do something other than yeah, sit yeah, there. less distractions. I will never wish yeah. that on you or nobody. But let me ask you a question. And I, I've thought about this, and this is this is something I don't think about like you have to cut people. I don't I don't cut anybody uh because the people in my life right now are people who they're they're there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like this it's different. But you ever think about like getting involved in, in other friend groups? Because I think about, about friend that. groups. So like just, just people in general? People in general. Like you might have like, <laughs> when, I went, when I went to that um when I went to that uh, that insurance that insurance job and I, I talked to the like they were kids pretty much. They were like 26, 27. These are kids. Um and I talked to them and I saw like the shit that they were doing. I was like, yo, it would have been interesting. And I thought about it for a second because I was going to do the job. And then I, you know, once I started. That's a whole nother story. I'll, I'll bring it down another time. Yeah. And I was like, these kids are motivated. They're sharp. They about they bread. I said, it'd be interesting to hang with these guys. Cause they was talking about what they do after work on Saturdays and Sundays. Obviously none of them have any kids or a girlfriend, um, but they have a shit ton of money. And they're like, yeah, we go on the boats and all that shit. I said, it'd be cool to kind of hang with them and like get some of that shit to rub off on you because Whoever you're around, some of their, especially if it connects with you, a lot of what they do is going to rub off on you. If they are, yo, man, we about to we about to go ride bikes because that's what they did too. Yo, we about to go ride bikes. Yo, I ride ten miles and I'm making this up. I'm out. I ride ten miles every morning. Yo, we about to go. It's me, him, and him. Yo, you should come with us. You get around people who do different shit. You just see a different lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. And you start to kind of gravitate towards that, like, yo, I think I'm gonna go with y'all this uh, this morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever think about getting around different people? I have, obviously. I'm down here. I got to. I mean, I makes the most sense. I've tried to hang with different people, and then I end up realizing why I don't like people. Okay. See. <clears throat> I could take a taste of something and be like, all right, that was cool for now. And just because they may do things that I may find interesting and it, it could it, it could be the person themselves. It could be four people there and three of them is cool and one of them I don't like. And be, but because all four of them are friends, I just stay away from all four of them because that third that fourth one has to come along in order for this to work. You know, because that's the homie. That's that's the click. When you when you go in, and, I'm just speaking as a person trying to hang with other groups of friends when they're already a group. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I have to be able to be cool with, okay, with everybody in that circle for me to continuously want to do things with them. Because if I'm not, I'll just exclude myself altogether because I know who I am and how I react to situations. And then if somebody else would tell me I'm tripping, then I'll, I'll, be, I'll feel some type of way because I'd be like, yo, I don't, I don't care about how y'all see it from their point of view because that's your people. You go on, you know what I mean? You have more of a kinship with them than, than I do. So it's already an altered feeling between all of us. So I'll just, I just, keep, I'll just keep away from scenarios. I've hung out with people. And I've introduced people to some of my circles, and even then, it's just like, nah, it's not a fit. And then at the, at the at the time, at the age that I'm at now, I don't really be looking for new friends to keep around me consistently because I don't want another set of problems to do. And not to say necessarily there'll be a problem, but their life problems and them bringing them into my life, I don't want to do or deal with. <laughs> so that's just, I mean, that's. That's, that's that's one of your friends calling you now. Yeah, I know. I had to decline. That's not my friend. That's actually my wife. But um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, but wife's but, not my friend. Yeah, no, she's actually my best friend. There but, you go. Um, let me let her know. I'm, I'm begrudgingly. Yeah, I, her, I mean, I like that shit too. Like, you're my best friend now. I don't like that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Your wife is always going to be your best friend. I don't care what nobody says. The reason why is because she got to hear all your shit. And when I and it's keyword gotta, she has to hear and deal with all of your shit, not mm. just the shit you choose to share with her. 
Yeah. All of it. All of it. And she has to deal with my moods, everything. Oh. So so that's why I call her my best friend. And she, you know what's funny? Is I don't know what got us to the point that we're at right now, but and this is a shout out to my wife because she she she's you I can see her changing as a person as she's growing up with me specifically. I don't know how she is with other people, but I don't really give a fuck. So um I notice how she talks differently to me and not like the tones and stuff like that. The way she talks, like I may say something to her, right? And she and and for me it'll be a joke, you know what I mean? But I'm just fucking around being me. But sometimes she may not know if it's a joke or not. You know what I mean? So she'll say something like, That's fucked up, you know what I mean? But but I'll laugh about it. She'll be like, That's crazy. And then later she she used to do things to be spiteful or you know be petty and shit like that. But now she'll send me like a text message like, hey, early, you said something to me. You said this, that to me. And I don't really know if you were joking or not, but it kind of hurt my feelings or, you know. And she's like explaining her emotions. She wasn't ever really open That's emotionally. If, as fuck, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with me, getting that information makes it so much easier for me to be like, no, babe, I, I was just fucking around with you. I was just playing. If you when you get home, you'll see that whatever it was is already done, or you know what I mean. Like I was just playing around. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I didn't really know how to take it, or I didn't know how to read through this text message, or I didn't, you know, just little right. shit that makes my life easier. Because if she knows that I'm joking, or if she knows that I'm serious, and we can actually have an adult conversation about it, there's no anger in the house. I mean, we get mad sometimes. We're people. We're 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 human. You know what I mean? But. But the opening of conversation and 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 the back and forth that we have now, bruh, great. That's my doggy really dog. Yeah, she's yeah. cool shit. Did you ever, um, you ever get to the point where you feel like, because uh, I feel like me and my wife are there right now, where you feel like you know each other too well, that you try to guess each other's fucking, guess each other's next move, or you think you know the next per the next move they're going to make or a thing they're going to say? I hate that shit, by the way. My wife knows I know her in and out. She knows that <laughs> she knows that I know her next move. Every move she makes, I know her next move. Um, and you like that shit? She who me knowing her next move? I just know what she'll do in scenarios or what she likes to do, so I know what to expect. For her to do something unexpected for me is not to say that it's rare. But it's more she'll do when it comes to something unexpected. It's always something that she's doing for me and not doing for herself. Okay. Um, but when it comes, to, but when it comes to, <laughs> but when it comes to her doing something for herself, I, I I know the playbooks already. You know what I mean? Or just her regular daily shit. I know her playbook. You know what I mean? I know she's calling me right now to see. Hey, did you guys do a podcast or not? What do you want to do? You know what I mean? That's this is that's the conversation she's ready to have. Uh, and and uh -huh. she me nigga, back. I heard you I finish up the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean the rapport has been excellent. I can't lie. And 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 with two procrastinators, it actually like we just talk about to each other how we need to do stuff, and it's hilarious because. <laughs> Yo, we need to get this house in order. Two weeks later, babe, we were supposed to get this house in order. <laughs> just, how about that? You know? Know? <clears throat> you know what I mean? We both you can't tell them shit either. So much shit on our plate at the moment, and but but I need to find that gear to help. You know, I told her we got to take accountability for each other and and be able to. And be able to tell one another, like, yo, you fucking up. And we need to get this done. Get off your ass so we can do this. I got to be able to hear that from you and be like, all right, yo, you're right. And know that you're right. And get up and get off my ass and do it. What's stopping y'all from that? I'm curious. Because my wife don't listen to me. So I'm going to just let you tell me how y'all, a functional couple, can do it. It doesn't work well. Um, <laughs> because I'll say it to her or she'll say it to me. <coughs> <clears throat> but unless it unless we're doing it right then and there and we both don't have things to do if it's a work day it's inevitable that we ain't getting shit done 
when she gets off of work, the last mm-hmm. thing she wants to do is more work. I'm complete, completely agree with her. When I get off of work, first of all, it's late as fuck and she sleeps. So I'm trying to not, I'm trying to not interrupt her while she's sleeping. Cause I know she's going to be waking up in the next five hours to go to work. Um, and then when the weekend comes, the kids come, she wants to see her parents. I want to do things, eventually see my parents, have the kids. I'd like to take time out to myself, especially if I spend all week just working and sleeping. And <clears throat> she likes things that she likes to do too. And and also we're we're two different people. If if anybody has if who all everybody who knows us know that we are two different people, two different cultures, two different views of life who found each other and it works probably one of the rare occasions um there's things that she likes to do that i just don't like to do you know what i mean and there's things i like to do that she don't like to do you know last night she wanted to go out to the bar with her friends and her family and i wanted to go to a fight party doing our own thing uh, I asked her yeah. she wanted to, I asked her if she wanted to go with me she, nah she didn't want to go fuck no my, but I mean, it was women and men at this fight party. I just wanted her to come to be with me. So, um, nah. But but, <laughs> but I don't. I'm not a big going to the bar type of person unless I'm going there to get a meal, I have a drink, watch the game, and then I'm and I'm going back to the house. Yeah. But she parties there like it's a party, <laughs> you know. I, and I don't even think that's a cultural thing. Not to talk about y'all specifically. I don't like bars. I don't like clubs. And I know people are like, no, nah, it's two different things. Yeah, but I don't like either one. Um, and mine, now that I'm thinking about it, my dad used to always go to bars. Like, the shitty bar in the hood, though. Like, like any bar, but the shitty bar in the hood that no one but the niggas from the neighborhood go to. And it's on the yeah, bottom she of the house. Dive bars. They love, she loves dive bars. I fucking hate bars, period. I don't, don't want to be around you niggas. I don't want to be, I don't, don't look at me. Don't <laughs> tap me and ask me no fucking questions. Don't, don't even, yo, <laughs> even if I'm single, like women in there, don't say, hey, you single. Yo, 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 yo. Come back to my house with me and talk to me. Don't talk to me here. You know why? It's music, it's people, it's drinks. I do not find that optimal. I don't want to fucking talk to you niggas. I just don't. It's uncomfortable for me. Anyway. Um. <laughs> A little insight in Dre's life. That bro, I, I, I've always hated it. Niggas be like, yo, let's go to the bar. And I'll be like. Well, the bars we go to, I, I mean, I, I do say we, ha- we have a home bar we go to. The food's good. The people there know us. We drink. We just sit there, chill, talk. There's other people that we we we're familiar with that, but for the most part, it's like we're going there to watch the game. We're going there maybe to have a couple of drinks and go home. We don't feel like going to get a whole bottle. We want to be served. Maybe you might get hungry. The wings there are cheap. Hard to find cheap wings out there, um, and they're great at that. So, um, I mean, but but they can do bar crawls. I can't do that. So I'm not with that. Bar crawls for all, Kevin. Yeah, I can't. I'm not with that. You know what I mean? Um, it's, and, and it's not necessarily, like you said, it's not a cultural difference. That, that, in, it's, that in itself is just two different things that we like to that we yeah. like to do. I don't, I don't really partake in shit like that. I don't really like getting that intoxicated or intoxicated that often. I'd rather be smoking on a Chiba. But um, I'd rather fucking. Not I mean, but that I appreciate that shit though because I don't want her to want to do everything that I do. You know, what yeah. I mean, some things I would want her to feel as though sacred to her, just like it is to me. The niggas who can't do shit without their girl, they, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them. How many years have I been coming to shit without my without my wife? Y'all niggas think that shit is weird. No, 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 it's not. No, no, I don't think it's weird that you go places without your wife. I think it's weird that she just don't never want to go nowhere with you when it comes to <laughs> she's like, I ain't going nowhere with you, Dre. Both are true. <laughs> Both are true, by the way. Both are very, very, very true. So it's been it's been years. And so my wife, and she'll tell me this too. She'll be like, yo, the first X amount of years of us dating, we did all that. And I'm like, you're right. Because it's shit that she be wanting to go to that I'd be like, 
Bye. Like it's not a one sided thing where she like, yo, I ain't doing nothing over there that you're doing. Like I'm not doing that. It's like both of them. It's like, bro, we did all that. It's like, what, what? Especially if um, with her, she likes. To, she don't like to do anything with anybody. Really, she doesn't really want to go to anybody's house, even her family. A lot of times, so. A lot of times she like, why the fuck you gonna go somewhere where I'm gonna wanna leave in ten minutes, and then you gonna feel like you gotta stay? She feels like I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna just stay to be polite and shit. So she's like, why would I wanna go somewhere where I don't wanna be, and you gonna want, and you gonna wanna leave, and I can't leave unless you leave? She's on my, she's on my, her friends and family. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, I guess you're right. And I'm like, yeah. But with us, it's like, bro, I just wanna go, especially if I'm going with my homies. We gonna talk. We gonna do the shit we normally do. We gonna fucking you know I might drink or something like that, and we just gonna have fun. Yeah, it's cool to have my wife there sometimes, but it's like yeah. not all the time. I don't want to do that shit. So the niggas who can't do anything without their wife or their girlfriend, I feel sorry for them because it's gonna get old real fast. And if it don't get old, she gonna tell you <laughs> in a couple years, yo, go without me. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Let me chill in the house. I think uh, our relationship gets better because we actually miss each other a lot of a lot of times. Niggas, yo, they underestimate missing each other, bro. They underestimate it. Yeah, it's and good to miss each other. We get to spend the time. We'll spend our time. We get to do things, and then we have to reset our week. And we know we have to. It's like we're working just to get to spend the to, time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but but that that enhances our procrastination because we know. That we're working all week just to get to this time, and we look at each other like we're gonna spend it cleaning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we got to though. It's it's just a part of until we can get rich and we can just spend time and then get do rich, other bro. things. Then, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm we, serious. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep throwing that out there to you until it seeps in. Just get rich. Don't even worry about nothing else. Get rich. That's that's what I was telling her. I was like, man, we gotta figure out a way for us to get rich. Get rich. You know. So so if y'all watching. Thank y'all for watching. Tell everybody else about us. If y'all listening, thank y'all for listening. Tell everybody else about us. Get us rich. Tell us to subscribe. You know, share, like. We got that one post that got three million views on it. Three million. Dre, Dre the genius. Not a, not a genius at all. I keep telling people it's a remix. It's hey, a I remix. I understand what <laughs> it is, it. but nonetheless, the job got done. Well, one day, one day. With all of us, we'll talk about fucking social media and how hard that shit is and how much it's fucking weird. But anyway, we'll 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 talk about it. Hit if you hit the remix button on the right thing, you'll get you'll get a bunch of shit too. It's just the way it goes. If it's the right shit, you'll get a bunch of shit on it. Remix. Ficky ficky. That's it. Um, yeah. Guess we'll see you motherfuckers next time. Yeah. That's it. Have a good one. All right. Try to wake my mouse up. <laughs> we got one without the mother.